Hi, this is Raphael from Hypermood. So I needed an API for an application involving product and categories, and I wanted to be able to upsell product, delete product, but also search by semantic using an AI model for text embedding. So I'll show you the result and how I built this. So if you go to Postman and access the GraphQL endpoint that is created by Modus Dev, I can introspect the schema and you will see that we have the query to get a product, product by category, search product by semantic search, and we have the mutation to delete an upsell product. So let's create some uh, product with a mutation. Um, I took some example here. So this one is um, from category computer. It's a memory card. We can query and see what has been created. We are using DGraph as a backend. So the code is basically saving the data as a graph. So we see that we have created two nodes, one for the product, one for the category. We can observe the second product it's creating a single product node because the category already exists. So it has also created a relationship. Let's create a third product. And we are ready to do, for example, a get product by ID and double check that we can retrieve all of this information from the database. And we can also ask everything that is linked to computers, for example, as a category, and we'll find two um, product linked to computers. And most interestingly, we can, for example, search by um, text, but this is a semantic text, for example, memory stick, and we'll see that we found something that is the card, the memory card here. And if we search for something like an input device for a computer in the different nodes that we have, we will find the Microsoft keyboard, which is a, a device, an input device for computer. So you see that it's not a term matching, but it's a semantic search based on the model. So. Let's see in first in uh, DGraph what we have. So we can use um, Rattle and do a query. We see everything that we know, a node that are products. And we actually see that we have two products here with the descriptions and they are linked to computers. And you can see that also those nodes have embeddings, so vector embeddings. And we have another node here that is a product linked to the audio category. Let's see how we build that with Modus and DGraph. So I use Modus new to create this uh, API folder and I selected assembly script language. So the I started with classes. I have a class for my product with ID, title, description, and a category. It's also of class category, the category as a name. I just use an IS here because I wanted to follow some DGraph internal naming convention. So for example, the title, of a product as a predicate called product title when we will transform it into JSON. So that's it for the data model, very simple. And then if we go, for example, for the absurd product function, we are basically using the DGraph object from the Hypermode SDK and our product classes. And we can create a JSON, a JSON from the product and create a mutation and uh, execute this mutation on DGraph. What we have added on top of that is to create an embedding and add the mod, add the embedding to the payload that we are also mutating to DGraph. So basically, this, this small function has two connection, one for model and one for DGraph. We have a DGraph connection here, and we are using the embed text function, which is in the embedding TS, very simple. Uh, we declared an embedding model, mini LM, and every time we have some text, we get the model and we create the embedding as a vector that will return uh, to be uh, saved to the database. So the DGraph and the models, they are defined into the manifest. So in modus.json, you will see that we have a model, mini LM, which is the old mini LM L6v2 from Hugging Face. And it's um, provided, it's hosted by Hypermode. So you don't have to install anything. Uh, you just have to connect with your Hypermode login and you can use it. We have also connection to the DGraph gRPC uh, connection on localhost 9080. I've just started a Docker image with DGraph and I was uh, able to connect and save the data. So when we see, for example, the search, so the 
Uh, get product is also straightforward, uh, retrieving some predicates from DGraph. Delete product is just about searching the product by ID and removing everything we know about it. The get product by category is interesting because we can navigate the graph by finding a category and then following the reverse edge from product to category. So now we are following category to product and we'll find everything that is connected to this node, their products, and we can return what we need about the, about the product. So when we do a search, the, and the um, input parameter is just a string, a natural language uh, search string. So what we do is we use the same embedding function here for the text, and we use this vector and we do a query by similarity in DGraph. And this one is using the DQL, which is the DGraph query language. It's using the DQL similarity to function on the product embedding predicates, ret returning in my case, the top three, and I'm computing some score and applying some threshold so I'm returning only uh, one uh, instant in this case. And that's it in terms of uh, building an API with Modus and uh, backed up by DGraph and uh, using embedding and uh, semantic search. Thank you.